Subscribe, love, like. We're sponsored by the Spunk Lube and rebroadcast by the Demon Seed Radio Network. We could not do any of this without you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, please give us that bump. Okay. Born Stars or People Podcast. I'm Dan Franklin. I'm here with Penny Barber. Hi. Thank you for doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for having um, me. Well, if you if you don't haven't checked this out on on uh, YouTube, please check out this uh, this lovely latex yellow <laughs> outfit. There's a there's a reason. Oh, there you Sorry. go. There's a, no, that's, that's great. There's a reason to get to the YouTube and check us out of there as well. Uh, thank you for doing this. We're at AVN. Yeah, we're at AVN. How many AVNs have you been to? This is my first one. This it's, is your first one. It's long oh, overdue. Nice. Long overdue. Nice. This is my second with a gap with a gap year. Oh, okay. I took a gap year. That's how that's how intense the first <laughs> one was. I couldn't come back last year at all. I was like, I couldn't do it. it. That's just my first day. Don't scare me. Yeah. No. No. Um. But no, this is exciting. Uh, where do you where are you from? I'm from San Francisco, okay. the kink capital of America. K- okay, if you don't is, count New York, <laughs> this is a great pitch. I like this. Uh, well, Tampa tries to, is trying to claim kink too. Shh, whatever. <laughs> no. Is San Francisco the kink capital of the world? I mean, you know, it's certainly the gay kink. Ca- I don't know. New York's okay, that's New fair. York's kind of up there though too. Yeah. You know. Well, San Francisco is uh, is is gay ground zero. Yeah, that's it is. What, it what, is. Yeah, We've got, you know, all the, the gay boys in San Francisco yeah. and, you know, all the lesbians out in Oakland. That's where they dug in their heels. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Is it, uh, uh, Oakland's the lesbian. Yeah, it's like a thing chunk. like lesbians oh, live I in Oakland. That. Yeah, I didn't either until I lived there. Nice. <laughs> nice. It was a it was a Jeopardy question, but it wasn't about lesbians. So <laughs> that's an Oakland question. So that's cool. Okay, so that's, and that's where you that's where you're like where you're from from. Born and raised. No shit. Mm-hmm. And then where are you now? Same place. Same thing. I so, know. So where do you shoot? You got to come to Vegas or L.A. to shoot? Well, I mean, you know, there used to be kink out there, and I was a kinky lady, yeah. but, yeah, now now I got I to gotta travel. And so. what's San Francisco to L.A. is, what, an eight-hour an eight chunk? It's, it's always longer than I think it is. For a drive. I mean, yeah. you can make it in six. You can make it in five if you, <laughs> <laughs> if you like, drive real fast. I like that fun wink. You can make it in five if you know how to flirt with if the If you cops. know what you're doing, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wear something low cut. That was great. If you wear this, I think you're fine. Yeah. Uh, I tried to accuse you of wearing a Flintstones outfit, and you got very angry with me. I was. I don't. I think I'm you going need to, to watch more Flintstones. I'm going to pull up Flintstones just so I know what I think. No, I thought I thought. Betty wears I thought I a blue dress, okay. and Wilma wears a white one shoulder. I'm not dress. saying I'm right. I'm just saying that's what I thought. Um, but you sh- you quickly told me I was an idiot, <laughs> which is fine. I'm totally fine with that. Oh, this I is why I thought because of him. What? Because of Fred? Yeah. You thought I looked like Fred? No, but that's but all that's I, not I, what a girl wants <laughs> to hear. <laughs> no, all I remembered vaguely was that he's got like spots. So his, I guess his is supposed to be like a tiger skin. Okay, I guess I look like girl Fred. Thank you. Fred no, that's Flintstone. not w- that's not what I'm <laughs> saying. Who's based on? What's the guy from the Honeymooners? No, because then because then you, well because then you have the hair on this one. So then it's like I don't know. With Betty hair, so like if if. Betty and Fred if, cheated if you combine all and had a baby. If you combine all of the Flintstones together as one person, <laughs> okay. then you, there you are. I don't know. I, like I said, I could be wrong. I guess. I could be wrong. So this is fun. So wh- who were you signing today? Where was, what was your vibe? I was over at the Many Vids booth, yeah. Nice. I just thought I'd wear something. Are you are you a heavy Many Vids uh, artist? I don't, know. Um, I don't know. I mean, I rank, usually I have around 100 on Many Vids. Out of? Out of, I don't know how many girls are on one, there. So one to 100. Um. Yeah. Out of the first the top hundred models, got it, got I mean, it, got it goes it. down to like five thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like so it, you're it in goes there. down. But you're doing good. I'm doing. I'm doing okay. Yeah. I could always be doing better. If you'd yeah. like to help me do better, feel yeah. How free. do we do that? Yeah. What's your many vids? <laughs> how do we get on there? We'll you just go look for Penny Penny Barber on many vids, and you can help me many vids. be more impressive in interviews. This is the thing we really need to talk about. Uh, is the is the pay for your porn thing? It really. This is this is yes. this is now. I think people are starting to understand now more than ever. But originally, oh yeah. I think people were watching porn, not paying for it, and thought that people were still getting paid. Well, it's changed the whole industry. Yeah. In some ways, I think it has a little bit changed it for the better. Yes. But in other ways, like, you know, this is this is a problem. Well, it's, so there's two things, right? Number one is, like, if you price yourself low enough that your your loyal fans can can get a piece of you every month, that's pretty good for you. But then you're, the other problem is, is, like, now it's like, if I'm only going to buy one only fans or one many vids, then mm-hmm. who the fuck do I buy? Right. And then maybe it's putting, it's putting you in a position where now you're, you're, it's like a heavier competition. It's definitely become like this more cult of the girls' personalities. Yeah. You know, like you have to like have like your favorite girls, which yeah. of course I kind of like in some ways. Because, right. you know, I really connect. Of course, you're always going to have big fans, but I like that everyone's kind of an auteur now. And like, you know, I like the big companies too, but it's also really fun that like people have access to all this like video equipment and they're 
doing their own yeah. little things and you can really connect with people more. I think that's kind of nice. Yeah, there's so something about it's a this silver thing. lining. I, there, the, I'm, I was dating, wait, long before the podcast, I was dating a cam girl who wasn't particularly doing explicit content. Mm-hmm. Most of her money would come from just sitting and chatting. Yeah, I did um, that for a while, yeah. but but you know now with my <laughs> my hectic mom lifestyle, yeah, I'm more uh, I more like make videos and yeah. stuff. I do a lot of custom orders though. Yeah, yeah sure. So that's kind of like the best of both worlds because like then it's like personalized, right. we get that personal attention. But like I can do it on my own schedule and like I can perf- make everything perfect and nice the way I like. Yeah. What do you um? What do you? What will you say no to? What are your no's? What are my no's? <sighs> what is? I don't know, man. I've done some really oh. <laughs> 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 Out there stuff. Uh, what are my nose? I, you know what? Try me. <laughs> I don't know. Well, is there is there a technological no that you'll like? I've talked to people that like okay, oh, the, oh, I, like I can so think of superhero something. shit is big. So it's like I'm uh-huh. not gonna go fucking buy a green screen. So I'm not gonna do that. Like is I have a green screen. You do have a green screen. I do. I have a couple of green screens. So like I I would do that. But here's something that I did have to say no to was um. I actually did uh, one custom for this guy who was into like cannibalism porn, which no, I liked it. Okay. You say that. I liked it. I got baked in a giant oven and I made this giant oven and it was amazing. And um, I actually did, you can see it on my site, pennybarberfilms.com. It's called Baked. Okay. It's really fun. Yeah. You won't like yourself, but it's sexy. Right. (laughs) But then he asked me to do another one with like a big uh, pendulum coming down, like, you know, a a knife, like a big, like in the pit in the pendulum. And I like looked around. It, it is with Vincent Price from like the 60s. So I think. technologically it's based on you a, couldn't sort it out. Yeah, it's based on an Edgar Allan Poe thing. But I, I was like contacting like uh, contractors and yeah. craftsmen and stuff. And like I couldn't find a space to do it in. And yeah. so for that one, I did have to say no. So it can be too big. But oh, okay. I tried. Yeah. <laughs> I did my best. So I you looked don't into really it. say no. No, I, I say maybe. Okay. I say maybe. I dig that. That's mm-hmm. cool. Um, well, that's really cool. Uh, pendulum. So what is it? It's supposed to chop you up. Yeah, it's supposed to like cut me in half, you know. Just once or a bunch. I mean, I don't know. I'd have to go back and <laughs> look <laughs> at the order. Do you get I mean, you get some creative control over what the thing is. I right? do get some creative control. It's like this is the this is the theme. Mm-hmm. This is the thing I'm going for the genre. I'm going. Yeah, I don't for. I don't know a lot of uh, models who will do heavily scripted. <laughs> right. Stuff. And like that's interesting. I wonder. I wonder if I wonder if that was my if I was that person that like it was. The vibe was just like writing my own script and sending it, but to to get it made, that would that would be interesting. Yeah, no, it's fun, but I th- I do think it goes better when you just give like a general yeah, outline. Yeah, for sure. Because like you know, first of all, most of the guys aren't writers, and most of the girls, mm-hmm. or sorry, the models, aren't like trained actors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it can come out a little stilted when I you like put that those you two said things those together. Lines and not me. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> saying. It, I think you get the best response when you go natural and ad libbing. Yeah, in my opinion. For sure. For sure. Mm-hmm. Well, that's cool. So we're, um, but you can you can facilitate a lot of this stuff in San Francisco. You have a space that. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. Like I have, um, I mean, most of it I can just do in my house. But yeah. like then I also have like a studio space, and yeah. you know, you can go uh, online, and there's different like spaces that rent out studios. You brought up hashtag baby life. I'm, I'm not uh, the yeah. mom life. I didn't <laughs> I didn't bring it up. So it's, I assume we can talk about it. You uh, have a bit. Like I'm not gonna like. You have un child. Yes, I have. Child? I'm a mommy to yeah. some kids. Okay. Yeah. Yep. What, so what's the how has that w- so you, your jump to this industry has been since you've been a mom? Yeah, I started when I was 18 in like 2003. Yeah. And then I got pregnant twice in a row. Okay. Bam, bam. And uh, some people some people are just strong like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I came back and, yeah. you know. So what is uh, what are the challenges now of having that in your life and trying to do this? What are you th- and also what are you afraid of in the future for people like the accessibility? Always ask that um, my my children love me. Yeah, of course. And so I don't think that's ever going to be an issue. I've yeah. had, I've heard a few horror stories, but then I've also heard some really touching stories of like people who are like finally like you know, getting up there and they're yeah. like, I have to tell my, my family before I die so they don't have any shocks. Yeah. And then they're like, yeah, I've known for like 20 years, right. you know? And so they just don't say anything because they have manners. <laughs> right. That's interesting. Yeah, we don't have manners anymore. But no, there is something <laughs> fun about, um, and, and, this, and I have this vibe about, like, even comedy, people are like, you know, do you, will you let your mom come to shows? Because mm-hmm. some of my stuff, will, I'll talk about I can see that being a little so uncomfortable. It's like, but it's not. It's like, she yeah. is why I'm this way. Mm-hmm. Like I said that to an audience the other day. I was like, I was, my mom was in the front row and this lady was like being weird and I was like, yeah, that's my mom. It'd probably but be worse if it was my mom coming to your shows. Maybe, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they, uh, but it's like, but like this lady made me this way. Like mm-hmm. this is why I'm this way. Yeah, so she it's raised like, you. So she should, she should completely accept all the things that I'm involved in. It's and it's the same vibe of like all the 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 instincts and sparks mm-hmm. that people in this industry have of being sex positive. 
came from somewhere. Yeah. Um, so you would well, hope. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you would <laughs> cool. hope. You would hope that 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 the that their folks would be supportive of it. Yeah. I just never understood the lying to your well, family I'm, thing. I mean, I definitely, don't get me wrong, I definitely lied to my kids. For a while, they thought I was a pirate. Yeah. Uh, they thought I was a witch. Okay. And then they started getting older, and they realized you can't make, <laughs> that's not that's not real. Right. <laughs> and so now they know that I make movies, but they don't, you They're know. They're not sure exactly what They don't need is. to know the details, yeah. in, in my opinion. Yet. And yet. I mean, maybe do they still someday. Be, do they still believe in Santa Claus? Uh, I think... I'm trying to think. The little one does. I don't think the big one does. Okay. It's hard to tell with him. So it's sometimes. getting. I mean, these are when you should have these chats. You can listen. There's no Santa Claus. Mom does porn. I think it's, <laughs> a, it's, <laughs> Maybe it's a back not, to back. Maybe not quite yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a back to back chat. I feel like. <laughs> Just get everything out of the way. There's oh, no. There's no, no you Santa. Do it. You do it your way. But <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Too soon. That's fun. Um, wait. So are you? Do we? Do the? Do the people that are? Do your fans? Do they know about your? Uh, your? Your marital status and whatnot? Yeah, I am divorced, actually, and remarried. Um, and do you guys work together, or you work solo? My my husband does not work with me. He doesn't me. work with No, us. I, he works in... Does something else. Yeah, he works for... Civilian shit. Yeah. <laughs> I do have a boyfriend, though, and he, he's in my... Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. He's in my stuff with me. How is... So then... Sam's solo. He's so a sweetie. Nice. <laughs> and then, so how does that part play out with uh, with your home life? Well, my kids, uh, my so my husband, when he introduces him to people, because he's around our family a lot, because sure. he's in our family, and so he'll just be like, you know, this is my brother-in-law. Oh, okay. Which I'm always like, that's weird, because that it sounds it like sounds he's like, right. my brother. Right. <laughs> he's not. Right. But no one has questioned it so far, so I just kind of, you know. Do you think the vibe that is mind? that that nobody wants to 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 like um, deal with that piece of it, or? I think that like most people just will not will not ask questions, I think, you know. I think you're hanging around with more polite people than I am. I mean, maybe they're they're all pretty restrained, honestly. Yeah. Hon they're they're my husband's friends, or yeah. I love him, but his his work friends are a do little you, boring. But do you think maybe do they don't want to know inkling? stuff? Do you hmm? think they have an inkling, and they're I just being polite? Have no idea. Because, like, I don't see them a lot. And also, like, sometimes when I when I first see them, if we're at, like, an event or something, they're yeah. always like, oh, she's pretty. And I'm like, what does that fucking mean? You right. Know, like, I'm like, thank you, but also, like. Because most people's lives are boring. It's a weird thing to say to me, you know. What is, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch the battery on this one real quick. But yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you a question that you, that you have to uh, be Talk pretty. Talk for a bit. Yeah. Okay. So, because uh, <laughs> it should be quick. But, um, okay, so what, what in your life led you to, because, I, I, you know, I've talked in this podcast at length about, um. Not necessarily. I think we've talked. We've done episodes about polyamory, but we've done definitely not episodes about open relationships. What did, what led you in your life to need, want, or have to have a boyfriend or that 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 vibe? I have just always been happier when I have multiple partners, and I mean, I I really do think it's an orientation, just because I can't I can't really be happy if I don't have more than one partner like he fills in extra gaps that my husband doesn't fill in sure He's really reliable was this always a part of your relationship from go yeah when i first started dating my now husband i had a girlfriend and uh so what do you call how do you categorize your relationship how do you categorize mm -hmm. your your or your your many relationships i just usually just say like my husband and my boyfriend but what do you identify do you identify, oh, do I identify with polyamory poly yeah you, yeah i would say yeah. that we're polyamorous okay. but like it's you know i'm not like dating i'm kind of like i i prefer closed polyamory sure. you know like i don't really like dating i like being in relationships yeah. so that's usually how i do it i'll have like partners right and then like the dating happens in spurts so how many because because there's gaps sometimes people break right. up so what do you what is your what is your ideal situation how many people involved probably the time that i was like really happy i had four partners but also right now with like being self-employed and a mom and you know yeah. I, I don't know if I can sure. do more than two maybe one more maybe so now is your hus does your husband practice as well no he doesn't go he he's, he's not like interested no he's the most monogamous guy I've ever met in and my he's life. fine yeah my boyfriend dates around yeah although he hasn't recently I see <laughs> and so okay that's interesting it's a lot once the whole party opens up yeah just a party opens up in the <laughs> in, um well so okay so that's interesting so that that is do you th um what your first what was your first marriage like same same vibe <laughs> um well it's over so it's obviously going to go great but we yeah i know no. uh we 
we're supposed to be open and we're supposed to do everything. And then I found out that uh, when I thought he was going to work, he was actually calling in sick to work, renting a car, and going to have unsafe, untested sex with a 19-year-old yeah. while I was breastfeeding. W- so what so w- I don't know why the fuck he did that. He we were in an open relationship. Well but he just wanted him to tell you. Uh, well, yeah, and also use a fucking condom. Sure. You know, when but I'm nursing, we had to have our kid yeah. tested for HIV. I it was see. disgusting. But you just, but you wanted him, but it was more this, the, this communication aspect. I don't like even care if I know, honestly, yeah. so long as he's being safe. I see. So that was the rule. But he was risking my health yeah. and our s- kids' health. Got and it. I was just like, that was the, the rule fuck is wrong with like you? strap up. He had so few rules and he couldn't follow them. Yeah. So I few. think that's interesting because I think, I think there's just a, there's an element of that. This is what I find in relationships is people don't want to be the all themselves. So it's like even when you have these things, then they they even break those other little. I think r- that that some people get me. off on sneaking around. Right. Though, you yeah. Know? There's, yeah. It's like so. It's like I think guys that are cheaters like they'll find a way to cheat. <laughs> yeah, but it's like but like they were they'll 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 gravitate towards an open thing. They'll gravitate towards a um, a poly thing, and mm-hmm. then they, they're not getting the thrill that they that they thought because it's a it really thing. is the thrill is I the think cheat. it's a thrill. Having yeah. an, uh, having another person rely on you and having another person lie with you and for you sometimes is the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Or or maybe you're the cheater who's lying to everybody, right? Right. And so y- everybody thinks that they're the main person. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't. And I'm not super closed either. Like I, I that's one of the things I have with my husband. I'm like, I know you don't want to sleep around, but you know, if you do, like, if an opportunity presents itself and you don't have a chance to talk to me first. Go for yeah. it. It's fine. So we have very few <laughs> rules. Yeah. Here. My rule when I was in an open thing was um, w- like the the next available time to speak, That's then a good it one. should come up. Yeah. Like it's not like it's not like I'm like I'm like. Uh, oh, Dan, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not like it's not like I'm like in front of uh, in front of somebody and I got to make a phone call and be like, hey, let me check yeah, in with exactly. my girlfriend. But it's literally like if something happens and well, it's the next day, you go, hey, excited to tell him anyway. Yeah. Hey, last night, last night shit happened. Yeah. And that was that was exactly the relationship was, oh, my God, uh, congratulations. Like, how did it go? <laughs> I'm excited. You know, yeah. It was, it's, like, it was it's, that it's a fun thing that happened. Yeah, it is. And it's because it, it, it is. It really does feel like. I mean that 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 moment when guys and girls tell their like best friends uh-huh. about hooking up with somebody it's like it's one of the funnest yeah. experiences you have so if you can put that with your partner that's, that's something cool. that the, the cheaters don't get <laughs> yeah right yeah <laughs> that's, that's the but, fun the part. Is, uh, but they're so fraudulent in all aspects of their life it's 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 weird it doesn't make sense to me yeah as a guy who like I I advocate complete honesty that's the thing I don't know how to lie well good um, <laughs> and I spent a lot of years thinking I was supposed to be lying. Mm-hmm. Right in my twenties, I just like I was doing what single people do, and I just felt like I wasn't supposed to be as open about it. Mm-hmm. And it's one of the things that gravitates me to this group of people is is the honesty and the clarity and the mm-hmm. and the consent and all the things that I align with. And there was a part of me for a long time that felt like I was like, yeah, wrong for some like for even like wanting to be in multiple things or like like uh, like maybe there's something wrong with me that I'm like unquenched, you know, what I mean? yeah. this kind of thing. Yeah, I think so something's. So it took yeah. So it took me until probably my thirties to like frame that there is a group of people that aligns with this idea. Um, well, so I'm yeah. glad you I'm glad you came around. You figured it out. <laughs> yeah. Glad you figured it out. I still haven't <laughs> figured out the perfect uh, equation of of open poly anything yet though. So I'm still I'm still I'm still running for that. But you I figured myself keep at out. It. That's the hardest keep at part. It. Yeah. Yeah. I figured me, <laughs> the me part. That's the hardest part. So. Um, what is uh, what else is on on tap for you this weekend? What are you what are you hoping to gain from this weekend? What are your what are your goals? What are your like um, things that you're trying to accomplish with this? Well, I'm started doing more. Oh, <laughs> um, sorry, I got no. distracted. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, right. Well, one of the things I'm starting to do more is make more cinematic uh, pieces. Yeah, and you know, like more kind of like bigger budget and like more you know artsy. Sure. If I'm honest, stuff because I think it's beautiful. Yeah. And I think it really like you know, gets you really lost in everything. I uh, did a photo shoot actually today with uh, Johnny Heskey. Okay. He's another photographer who was like really helpful and like, you know, was teaching me. We're doing like lots of crazy gel lighting and stuff like that. So I'm kind of building up my skills in that way. And then I'm starting to make more uh, out there porn. Like I just did a, I just released on Pornhub my, uh, the Jackabang, which is like oh this. What is that? It's a... <laughs> It's like an age play fetish BDSM comedy horror 
okay. for, for Christmas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's utterly bizarre, but like I can promise you it's really fun to watch. And you're proud of it. I'm super proud okay, of it. Good. It's only like seven minutes long too, yeah. so you know. It's great. It's fun. Yeah. You should you it's should watch funny. it. It's funny. It it's has Ella Nova in it and my boyfriend Sam Solo and I got to actually direct it. I'm not in it. Yeah. So that was really fun too. I got to make like a bunch of big crazy props, like this huge oversized like storybook. Cause you know like how in like Disney movies and stuff they right. start with a storybook. Yeah. And I wanted to do that in that's a great. porn. Yeah. And so now I'm getting to do more kind of like weird stuff like that. Oh, that's cool. But it's still hot though. It's yeah, still I hot. Did that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like the guy still gets like tied up with Christmas lights and jerked off. So okay. you know, it's yeah, still fun. That sounds that sounds like everything in my in my search history. Right yeah, there. something for, <laughs> something for <laughs> everyone's search history. How did you history. know? <laughs> um so that's cool. Yeah, it, it is. It's interesting you re-entering the business when you did because you're sort of coming into a, a a mark when you just sort of have to like adapt mm -hmm. and and then take it from there. And it's like yeah. everybody's kind of winging it, especially people that like had the older the older ideology. The industry has um, changed, changed a lot. lot. Even in just in the in the years that I've been involved in this podcast, mm -hmm. it's been like it was. Um, like having like a like a and it just keeps changing platforms because it was I think when I first started it was like everybody was just converting to like premium Snapchat and then mm -hmm. we kind of get out of that and then now OnlyFans and all those types of like those places yeah. have like taken kinky over kinky Twitter right, or the, sexy Twitter whatever right, you want to call uh, it. Well, AVN stars is starting their own thing yeah. right like that's like a cam site and like uh, all that stuff. So I think everybody's starting to to pick up on what the nuance is and 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 the the girls and guys that have been able to really like cultivate a specific fan base mm -hmm. are thriving and then everybody's trying to play catch up yeah so it's interesting and, yeah. I, and I, I do meet a lot of people in this business that then have been able to figure out their their brand and their genre and their thing like so tight that they can really cultivate this this yeah, thing the more niche that you go i find yeah. the better that it is yeah, like no, when yeah. i when i do stuff that's more broad you know yeah and like it's not as popular but when you really like lean into who you are yeah that's when people start to pay attention yeah. in my experience because you should let your freak flag <laughs> fly, right? it's more fun to watch yeah 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 because yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's true yeah, it is. I mean, it, so it is interesting because it's like, you know, uh, globally you want to like skim it down because the more you skim it down, then the more it's available for everybody and the yeah. more that everybody will like it. But then it's like, but then the amount of people that like it, like, like th as the more. Well, if you're marketing to everyone, you're marketing to no one. Yeah, but it's also like w once the graph goes up, the more all, the more of all people that like it, the less they like it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like the less people that like it, like it way more. Yeah, there's the definitely a bunch of give and take yeah. there. So that's interesting. So that's cool. So where are you? Are you staying in this hotel? I am staying at another hotel. You are. Yeah, little Ella Nova, who's in my my film thing. She recommended it to so stay, just to stay off vibe. Yeah, she was like, "Let's stay over here. It's really calm. Just you in know, case. the elevators aren't going crazy. Right. <laughs> we can come over here if we need to, but we can get the fuck out." Yeah. So there's there's like a s and there's a lot of other industry people there oh, too. For sure. So yeah, there's the like a s there's a secret porn hotel. Yeah. Just so you guys know, the whole strip is is um is basically taken over by by yeah, you. Yeah, I can see that. There's a lot of people here. And it's interesting because this this will be the last one at at. Uh, uh, this one. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Cool, At the Hard they, Rock? Yeah, because they bought it and they're they're renovating it. Oh. So it's going to be a new vibe next year. Okay. Which it's, it's every time they change hotels, is like a new era. <laughs> and when I first came out here, started doing these interviews, it was like, like I had all the old stories of like when it used to be at like the Sands and they were like, they, uh -huh. all, they had all these Sands stories and they were talking about stuff in the past like it was like a whole thing. That's fun. So it'll be a whole new era next year. Um, so Do you know where it's going to be? Or I don't think anybody knows. I think oh. the promise is from this hotel. I think probably the, the people who run the, the thing know, but I think mm -hmm. the promise from this hotel is that they're going to try to get it done in a year. But I think anybody who knows anything about yeah, anything knows not. there's no way they're going to flip this thing in a year. But I think Richard's. I think the. I think it was. I think it's Virgin. I think it's a rich, rich, This is going to be a Richard Branson property. Okay. All that's right. What happened? And they basically like they just held off on everything because AVN is their biggest event every year. I bet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a catastrophe downstairs. It's great. I haven't gone to the convention yet. It's been like really. I've, just, I've done. Se I did seven hours of these. I like first walked. I so I'd never done it before, yeah. and I first walked in, and it was just like. You know the area where the models are signing right. for um for like the clip stores, and I was like, "Is this it?" And then I found, ran into a friend, and he was like, "Oh no!" You're not and even so in he, yet. No, no. Yeah. So he took me around the whole yeah. thing, and I was like, "Oh." I still don't have seen all the spaces. Yeah. No, there's like there's the fetish area upstairs, the layer where they have like classes and things. It's yeah. like a little mini fetish con, basically. I haven't seen that at all. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's like it's really dark Do up you go there to too. Uh, I've been to fetish con yeah. a couple times. You know. Nice. It's fun. Yeah. It's okay. I haven't <laughs> been. I haven't been. I was supposed to go a bunch of the years and it just hasn't worked out. This yeah. is way bigger than fetish. Con. Oh, for sure. Yeah, like yeah. this is crazy. So yeah. are you, so you're, into, do you go to the, do you go to the exoticas? Is that no, part of, is it I haven't part of done the those. I've, I've done DomCon once and I've okay. done fetish con a couple of times. Where's DomCon? 
It's in L.A. Okay. I mean, I think they have one in Georgia, too, but I went to the one in L.A. Nice. But, yeah, I like it because it's around my birthday. So nice. Yeah. When is that? Uh, it's in, like, late May. Do you believe in any of the things that come with the birth, like, when you're born? I mean... On the one hand, no, but on the other hand, Jesus Christ, I'm such a fucking Gemini. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> yeah. I think we lean into whatever. I think I think you I think we're all all the things. But if you read mm-hmm. a list of things that are supposed You'll to be pick up a, on a, some a, things. like associated with Aquarius, I'm like, yeah, I guess I'm those things. I I'm guess I could be. I'm that totally stuff. like I'm a switch. I'm like, yeah. so, oh, such a Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> so yes. So in short, yes, you absolutely. Do. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't want to, but I'm also not a yeah. great example of how those things aren't true. Right, right, right. <laughs> Interesting. Um, so I'm trying to think. Um, because it's because you're my last uh, episode of the day. I, I lose I track am. of uh, what to <laughs> do. Okay? So I have. Well, so I like to do like a human challenge at the end of a the episode. A human we, challenge, yeah, so like whether it be like a booty clap contest, which oh uh, neither neither one of us is really like uh, like completely like qualified I for that. I can't do that right in this, right. this and then plastic like dress. Earlier I did a um, we did like a handstand thing. So we got to figure out what we can do. Oh, either I could have done a, a handstand. Game or uh, or that's something, or maybe we could karaoke something that we could do. What, what do you? Maybe what, I don't know. What I'm are not you really good at? Panties, so what am I good at? Well, I was like, well, I could have done. What a are you way better at than me for sure? <sighs> way better at than you. Fuck. I was a pro wrestler for a long time, you really? but yeah, but now I don't know. <laughs> also, you're like, I don't know, you're not like a small dude. So. Are you gonna see if you get body slam me? Oh God, no, I can't do that. <laughs> no. Ugh. Fuck. Oh, I don't know. What can I do? We'll t- we'll sort it out. We'll do. Maybe we'll we'll do something. We'll do a. Um, I we'll feel like so I'm letting you down. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm letting myself down because I haven't because I didn't do this. So usually I'll I'll like go to like an Asian supermarket and get like a bunch of um, random shit to eat. I don't. I'm just, just really yeah, okay. Yeah. So then like I, I like with Johnny Cartel we ate like um, we ate uh, duck feet, but I didn't. Oh. I, but I didn't prepare for any of these things. Okay. Today. So we're gonna have to come up with something else. That's oh what's God. We'll, we'll sort it out. I'll come up with something. I'll come up with something good. I don't know if that's. I'm what I want to hear, but okay. Yeah, I'll come up with something good. Um, well, yeah, I don't have the resources. When a man that you've just met says, I'll come up with I'll something. I'll come up with something good. It's got to be fine. <laughs> um, all right, well, so what else? So uh, what is, I guess, are you, is your goal <laughs> to um, to make your studio? It's to direct all kinds of weird, yeah. to make all the weird porn that I want. So, yeah, we never To be really a big enough name that I can make whatever I want. Whatever you want. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, what, are you, what are you lacking now? What do you have to get? to get to that level i have to get to get to that level i I mean i'm still at the point where i want to meet more people in the industry because also i'm I'm a bit of a control freak and i do like to control everything um so what i finally did was i kind of started letting go a little bit i'm sending my boyfriend to film school so that'll be something because you know thus far like it's it's really hard to like you know run the camera and be on camera and write everything and dredge the set and do everything what do you shoot on now I have a Canon 5D Mark IV. Okay. Yeah, so it's yeah. like a nice little camera. Yeah, you know? that was that was like that was that was the the like uh, headline getting camera for like ten years. Yeah, I want to get a, a Sony. I think it's A7 II. Yeah, people next. are loving people are loving that that vibe. Yeah. I grabbed I grabbed the GH5 because yeah. of, because uh, because of comedy and this and the podcast. I've heard it good things about the Lumix in low light and stuff. Yeah, it's really good in low light, which is what comedy is. And mm-hmm. then also it doesn't. It's uh, I can just hit it and it runs. Every other camera has a twenty to twenty five minute like like uh, you have to you have to you have to start it over. Really? Okay. Yeah. So this is the only camera that I could that I found uh, where you can just Sony go. included where yeah where you can just hit it and it, and it rocks. Good to know. Um, th- although so the GH4. Uh-huh. We'll cut it into five minute five five minute and forty second files. This really? one will just rock, which means I I could end up with a twenty gig file, which sometimes is hard to edit on. Yeah. So this is all that depends. is. Although I think there's probably a setting in there to ch- to change it since since it's almost the same camera. Yeah. But yeah. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm starting to be I'm starting to be a um a gear a little nerd. bit of a gearhead. Gear nerd, yeah. Yeah. But the can the can Canon that you're talking about it's it's just such a it's just such a pretty picture. No, it's a nice about thing about like yeah. having fans is that they keep buying me gear, yeah. and so that I like also I feel like I kind of oh, owe it the to list. them, yeah, owe yeah, it yeah. to them to learn how to yeah. use it. Well, I was talking with somebody earlier today about how like sort of the the. The higher end of the quality spectrum isn't really what people are looking for at this point. It's almost like that's they, true. Like they like they're happy with uh, with like almost cell phone level content. Um, I, I do kind of like like I, I love POV. I love yeah, the POV format. Sure. And I do kind of like in my videos to kind of like mix in like I'll have like an organic reason for yeah. there to be some cell phone footage sure. in it. Right. Like, you know, uh, I just shot this thing with Sam Solo. Um, we're like, I don't know, we were watching a movie or something, but like then I started like taking a video of his his dick to sure. like make fun of it for being small because that's the, <laughs> the kind of thing that I, I like to film. It's a shame thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, it's just kind of like, look at that cute little thing. 
Um, and so we switched to cell phone footage for that. Yeah. And and I think it's fun to mix it together. I, think I so don't so. think you have to have just one. And I and I think as long as it's organic. Yeah, and I think everybody's breaking rules in all the mediums, and then this one especially. Mm -hmm. I think it's, I think there's way less rules cinema uh, cinematography. <laughs> 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 uh, so I think you get to break more rules yeah. and more than that because it's like you can't really shoot uh, like a like a major motion picture POV. Hey right. man, I liked Hardcore Henry. Thank I you. I may be I one of the only earlier. people who likes it. So I fucking love that movie. It was very cool. It was mm -hmm. a very cool. Um, effect the whole the whole experience it was um, awesome they did a lot of like research on like pov and stuff yeah. too and they were like making this i hope they fucking make it like the action helmet did yeah. you see that you no, know no. so like oh sorry <laughs> no no please <laughs> no so it's really cool so like when you're Nerd shooting up. when you're shooting pov yeah. um you know there's there's a lot of things to consider but first of all like a lot of the the things that they have now like with the gopro and stuff they put yeah. the camera up here on like your forehead right. you know or your head which right. is not doesn't make sense it doesn't like you know it's a stand-in for when you turn your head like this with it up here yeah. it's it's like you're turning your whole neck right. you know whereas if you have the camera a lot lower here like where your mouth is and then you move the camera right. around then it's, right. it's then it's like your eye is sure. moving so that's nice and, um, you know, so like you have to have something that's more at mouth level. And then you also have to have like a focal length that's closer to what your actual right. eye sees, well, which is very wide. And yeah. then now with we were talking about this uh, on uh, a couple episodes ago um, now with the um, uh, what is it called? Um, I don't know how the words escaping me. I don't know. What the, is it? Um, the VR porn. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They shoot two. They shoot really? basically. Like, uh, they shoot two cameras uh -huh. uh, side by side so that you have this this 360. This like, wider like, view. Like, like, like thing. And then it's it's shot in 220, and then it's cut to 180, mm -hmm. so that you got this whole thing as if it's eyesight. Okay. She tries to match eyesight. I like with it. The two cameras. Yeah, it's smart. It's cool. I have to break out my husband's little yeah. VR thing that I got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for Christmas. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've, I haven't gotten in, I haven't gotten into the VR stuff yet. I like not that I don't not that I wouldn't be into it. I don't have the gear. Right. Yeah, and like you have to like buy an extra toy. Yeah, for yeah, it. yeah. yeah. You yeah. Like put it on your face. And, <laughs> and, you can't and it's like you can get caught easier now. It's like, <laughs> That. Yeah, that's harder to explain away when someone opens the door to your room. Uh, but again, I'm in, I'm at the <laughs> stage. I, th I was up for this casting for something the other day, and they were like, uh -huh. well, they're like, how would you feel if like something went over the air that like embarrassed you? And I was like, ah, uh, that that can't happen yeah. to me now. <laughs> I'm not in a position <laughs> in my life where I'm doing things that I would not want. Like I'm mm -hmm. I'm on I'm on like uh, I'm in the eye all the time. It's like I'm on stage. I'm a comedian, so I'm on mm -hmm. stage and doing these things. So it's like I'm not going to do anything that's out of character. Uh huh. So. And they like wouldn't let it go, and I was like, no, I won't be embarrassed. So I think I think at this point they were in my just life, trying to find something. That yeah, well, it's like, well, I think they're just worried from their perspective that like, because uh, it's like this is the common like it's like, sort of like a it's sort of a reality TV unscripted thing. Uh -huh. So it's like from their perspective, a lot of times people will try to like I mean, chase, nice chase back what they did. Yeah. yeah, but I think they just wanted to see psychologically what my perspective was. But I was like, I I I, I like I like dismissed the the premise. Mm -hmm. But my point was, I think if if I if I was like. If I was jerking off with the VR thing on, and right. somebody walked in, I would I <laughs> high five, man. This is dope. You know, you understand how good this is. And guess where I'm at in my life? Maybe not for my grandfather, but <laughs> in fact, my grandfather's the only one that ever caught me. Really? Yeah. Okay. And I don't know why he caught me. I don't know why I didn't close the door. Hmm. It was a very simple. Well, you learned, I guess, to always yeah, close the I door. Yeah, but I think he caught me more than once. I think I'm. Really? Yeah. More than what? What? Yeah. Why would? You I don't know. Close I think the there Lock might have it. been there might have been a non closed door policy. I also think I because oh. he's slow. Uh -huh. I always thought I would I would like hear, hear him, him and yeah. you could get get but other fast yeah, but enough. I was, I, you know, when you're in the zone, you're in the zone. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? Your hearing doesn't always work, you know. I guess not. You're in the zone. Um, so what else? Okay, so so that so I mean, what is it gonna take? You say you keep you keep highlighting this idea of meeting more people, but is it so? I know. Is it is that what's gonna take you to the next? place that's that was going to take you to the next ability of uh cinematography i mean you know whenever i i meet for what i've discovered is that like i don't know if it's because you know i'm a pretty girl or what but like photographers and like you know filmmakers are very willing to talk to you sure. about stuff well they're nerds and, they, and nobody ever asks i, I want to fucking know like yeah. there was i was down on the floor like signing autographs and a guy walked by he had a really cool gimbal and i was like can i take a picture of it yeah and so he sat there and talked to me about gimbals sure. and stuff so that was probably a good contact for me to he make fucking research that thing for months yeah. before he bought it yeah so he, he knows probably everything did you could about it 
Like right, like the same thing that the, the, all the things that that are that are great about this camera for mm -hmm. me might not work for you, but I, but I'm happy right, to tell you why I got it. It's good to know, yeah. If I ever need this type of a camera, I'm yep. like, okay, well, I wanted the, a Lumix GH5, yeah. or if I want the smaller file, I want the GH4. GH5 is dope. So I bought this one because it's because it's the it's the it's the standard that's set now. Mm -hmm. But then this one I found out later. I bought off. I just bought off uh, uh, as a second camera. I just bought mm -hmm. off like an NYU film kit for like 500 bucks. Like that's not met bad. on the street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I, t I saved his number in case he was case the camera didn't work. Then I could Go find <laughs> I think I, I still got. I'm st I'm in my mid thirties. I can still beat up an NYU film kid. <laughs> That's where I'm at. Cool, but yeah. Maybe so like not, another five. Meeting people, like meeting performers, just like because I feel like it's easier to book someone when you kind of know them. For sure, you know. And uh, you know, just people that I might want to work with who live out here, and just asking them about what they're doing, and then if they get excited about whatever you know crazy project I have yeah. in the works, then awesome. Yeah, I dig that. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, I mean. It, it, this this is what I this is what I really like about this one and then the one that happens on the East Coast is that when when the minds get together and they start they start mm -hmm. working on this thing it's like and it's fun it's like I don't there's not as many like uh, sit downs and like classes here mm -hmm. you're saying there was some some fetish stuff but uh, yeah. at some of the other conferences there's ones where they literally like they'll go through like how to shoot and like camera shit and stuff like that and mm -hmm. it's 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 informative that sounds amazing. fun stuff yeah 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 so you should check out Exotica um, I, I will Chicago and, and, and New Jersey New Jersey is the biggest one supposedly so um, but yeah I mean it really is it's like because these people I mean the, the more I meet people in this industry the more I like they f they got a lot of fucking information yeah yeah they really do no it's amazing <laughs> <laughs> it's right, helpful um, <laughs> it's cheaper than film school yeah well so how do we pay for your porn how do you pay for my porn? I think you we know, plugged it at the beginning, but let's do it again. I'm all over the place. Just go follow me on Twitter okay. at Pampered Penny or search me anywhere. Penny Barber. Pam I'm all over. Okay. Pampered Penny, Penny Barber. You the only Penny Barber? Better be. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, so check her out. Uh, as far as the Porn Search of People podcast, we drop a new episode every Monday, East Coast at midnight. Um, we're on Google Play. We're on iTunes. Whatever thing you're on, we're on the other thing. If you switch <laughs> platforms, uh, check out our YouTube content. Uh, we're gonna come up with something fun for the uh, for the YouTube. I promise. Uh, for the 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 extra. The extra. The extra feature. The the, the human challenge. Uh, oh so check no, that God. Out. Okay. And then check out our Patreon. We started a Patreon. We just want to hone in on what you guys are really specifically into seeing from us. Uh, so thank you so much for your support. Thank you again, my guest. Thank you for hey, having Barbara. me. Uh, doesn't look anything like the Flintstones. And check out her <laughs> and pay for her porn. <laughs> 